All right, so I'm here at this mine in the Los Padres National Forest, and right behind that fallen tree is actually an adit. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's actually open. I'm gonna go up there real soon, but you can see that there's an ore cart rail sticking out of the adit. And right next to it is some sort of hinge type device. And over here, it's pretty cool. Um, there's actually a trestle over this small gully. But a uh, tree fell on top of it. What are the chances of that? Um, so that's the tree, and right over here is that wooden trestle. And they would have hauled the uh, waste rock onto this pile. And actually, I think there's a better view of it on this side of the tree. Yeah, there you go. It's a pretty cool trestle. Um, so I'm gonna go get my gear on and then go inside the mine. Okay, so right over here is the fallen tree and this right here is the adit. I will have to slide down in there, but it doesn't seem too bad. So see you inside. Okay, so I just made my way into the mine and let's go check it out. Um, you can actually see the, uh, the ties for the ore cart rails up here. And up ahead there's some timbering Oh, that looks really cool. It's all like raw lumber too, but it also looks like there's a cave-in up ahead, unfortunately. You can see the uh, cavity above the timbering. Well, this was short-lived, but this timbering is pretty cool. Huh. I wonder how far back this went. I do not know the name of this mine. Nor do I know its history. This timbering is is really cool to see. Like, look at how they they put this cross timber in here between these two posts. Same with over here. It's actually pretty intricate. That is really cool, actually. So yeah, that's unfortunate that the mine has caved in. Okay, so I just noticed that. Right here in the rubble, there's an ore cart rail. And actually upon closer inspection, it looks like there might be a cavity above this collapse section. You can see up there, there might actually be a way to get over it. Um, I'm gonna go up there and see if it's even possible. All right, so I just came through that hole right there in the timbering and it looks like the adit may have continued further, but it uh, it just stops down there. So I don't know if the adit is filled in right there and you can't get past the collapse or if they just stop there. I'm not certain, but um, it's really sketchy in here. You can see I'm in the void where all this uh, debris came from. So I'm going to get out of here. This mine is not safe. Okay, so I'm below the mine right now, and in this clearing is the uh, foundations for a cabin. Um, there's not much left of it at all. Just a few bits of metal and wood. Um, you can see the uh, bed spring over here. And over here, there's actually like a work table. This is really the only thing that survived. And there's just a bits and pieces of something right here. Um, this is a uh, portable power center, huh? And it looks like there's actually more stuff in the uh, wash over here. Okay, so I'm right below the cabin right now, and right here there's a 50 gallon drum that's been cut in half. I don't know why they did this. But I've seen at other mine sites where they converted these into like tram buckets. So maybe they did something like that. I'm not so sure though. And there's a full bucket right there. And these look like maybe appliances. Maybe they had a fridge here. But yeah, there's really not much left of this cabin. It looks like it was burned down probably in the 70s by the Forest Service. Okay, so I'm at another section of this mine, 
And right here, there seems to be a collapsed shaft collar. There's like a pit right here, and there's actually a waste dump over there. But you can see these timbers right here and how they're uh, nailed together. I really think that this is a uh, collapsed shaft.